Hi, my name is Miguel Vila, and I am going to make a partial vacuum using four candles. Videotaping now. Push it. Push it. Push it with your thumb. Yeah, I know. Take it easy. There you go. So Miguel, you're lighting the candles. Yeah. So tell me what you're tell me what you're doing while you're doing it. Um. Well, I am lighting the candles, and now I'm going to put this over the candles. And now, as you can see, when they go. And all of them go out that the water is sucked in that some at least some of the water gets sucked into the can and well you have to take it out slowly or else okay well why before you before you do that Miguel why does this happen well it happens because the when you put some, when you trap some a candle in something with, like this jar, mm -hmm. it the candle needs air to, uh, you know, to burn. Yeah, to burn. And, when, and once it uses up all of that air, it has no air to burn, and uh, the what. And the water, which we food green food colored, will uh, since there isn't any oxygen in there, it is pulled up into the jar, and that's basically it. All right. Now, well, thank you, Miguel. <laughs> Nicely done. You didn't spill a drop. Well, sure. All right, thank you. So, Miguel, did you find anything interesting about uh, your results from this experiment? Yes. Well, it, well, I found out that the amount of water that goes into the glass that if you measure how much water that went into there, you will learn how much air was in the atmosphere of the jar. Which... Very good. I assumed would be 25%, which is usually enough... some air in the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, well, uh, atmospheric oxygen is about 20%, so your yeah. guess was very close. All right. So thank you very much. You're welcome.